Wiser Joomla video tutorial. I'm going to take a look at comparing content management systems. Now our site, wiserjoomla.com, is obviously a Joomla tutorial site and we do lean towards Joomla, but we're also, our team is also um, one that has a lot of experience in many different technologies. And I think the main point is, is that there's no one CMS that's better than another. It just depends on your situation, what it is that you're trying to do with your website, what your goals are and what kind of features, as well as what kind of a person you are. I think it's a lot like uh, brands of any sort. If, you're, uh, if you drive cars, maybe you like Chevy's better than Ford or, you know, so a lot of it has to do with just kind of your sense of the, the brand. Now, all three, Joomla, Drupal, and WordPress, which, which are the three most popular of all the CMSs, and those are the ones I'm going to look at briefly with you. All three of them uh, are, are used worldwide, and they are also all considered fairly user-friendly. Um, so that's what most people are looking for in a CMS. They're looking for how user-friendly it is, how extensible it is, and basically what the strengths and weaknesses as far as features go. So the obvious thing that one would conclude when looking at these three systems is that if your site is going to be purely a blog, why then WordPress would be your number one choice. But as soon as you begin to veer off into other areas such as shopping carts or any kind of directories or, or photo galleries, then you really need to start looking at Drupal and Joomla as alternatives because although they're not as strong as WordPress in the blog category, they're strong enough and if that's not the central theme, why then you might want to look at them. Now if you look at the popularity of the three of them, if that's important to you, uh, Drupal and WordPress are uh, really the most popular. There, there are some statistics out there. Um, here is a CMS comparison, and I'm not. Uh, I've read read up on on this site, and apparently the accuracy is is not to be um, uh, trusted altogether. But here it's saying that 44% of CMS sites are Drupal, and only seven and a half percent are Joomla. And then, of course, if you go to the, they separate the blog category uh, out for WordPress, and as you can imagine, WordPress has about 75 percent of or more than of the of the market share uh, but nonetheless there are many thousands if not millions of sites built in either Drupal Joomla or WordPress there's another site you can go to uh, which is the CMS matrix matrix it's cmsmatrix.org and it lists almost I think about a thousand CMS's so if you click on the three, Joomla, Drupal, and WordPress, it gives a very nice side-by-side -side comparison as far as features. And you'll see that uh, WordPress lacks a lot of the, um, like I said, the uh, software add-ons that Joomla and Drupal have. So you'll see a lot of red over here when it comes to um, the more sophisticated add-ons. And they, they all three stack up pretty well. But the main thing is, is that they're all technically free. They all run with MySQL and PHP, um, and they all are easy to install and easy to administer. It's just a question of degree. So let's take a look. All three have an organizational site. Drupal's been around since about 2001. It started as kind of a, a forum, and you can go through the Drupal site and you can get free add-ons, free themes. You can obviously download the software. Drupal has been running two versions, a version 5.x and 6.x side by side for quite a while. That's bothersome to some people. Uh, but the main thing you'll notice when you go through the Drupal site is that you have to be at least part developer in order to work with Drupal. Drupal has many more APIs and is much more extensible but it does require that you have some coding ability and because of that some of the bigger sites in the in the world are built on Drupal because it's a platform that if you have developers working in it uh, with with building your site uh, there are 
more custom things you can do. You can write code that will run inside this container. Uh, WordPress, if we go over to their main site, uh, really it's just quite the opposite. WordPress is almost purely a drag and drop world. You really don't need to write, write, co write code for it. Uh, except if you uh, consider CSS and um, the theming uh, or the, th the theming aspect as far as customizing your theme. That's about the extent of it. And then as far as Joomla goes, um, you can code within Joomla. There are certainly um, aspects that you could add to it by writing your own JavaScript code or your own programs and it'll, it'll run inside Joomla. But it's really built for more of a GUI kind of um, uh, user-friendly interface type of development. So um, just some more facts. Uh, you know, so basically, the conclusion as far as ease of use, Drupal requires some technical knowledge. WordPress and Joomla do not. Um, and with the learning curve as well, Drupal, the learning curve is very steep. And the system assumes you have a highly technical background. And if you take a look and install Drupal, you'll see that the back end, for instance, is not as intuitive, not nearly as intuitive as WordPress and Drupal, uh, Joomla. As far as the themes go, um, Drupal in most, and I'm really not biased here, uh, Drupal's themes are fair and limited compared to WordPress and, and, and Joomla. WordPress, there are many, many thousands of themes that are free and quite a few commercial ones. Um, and Joomla, most of the good themes or templates as they're called in Joomla are commercial. You might have to pay either a, an annual fee for a membership to a, a template club or you can buy templates individually. Uh, or if you're quite good at uh, creating your own template, then you can do that for free. Uh, but Joomla has an excellent uh, source of, of templates that are out there. So basically, you need to look at the focus of your site. If your site is focused exclusively on, on blogging, WordPress is your best choice. And there are a lot of widgets. You can have quite a number of other things going on with a WordPress site, but nothing sophisticated such as e-commerce, um, which Joomla does the best. Drupal, uh, their Uber cart is really not that strong compared to Virtumart uh, or Magento. So um, now if you're comfortable with complex coding and have a need for really maximum flexibility where you can make your site pretty much become anything that your designers or you yourself designing it can dream of, then Drupal is probably the best for you. But if you need fast development, rapid development, and a simple site setup that includes a very good looking front end and a full featured back end, with minimal complexity, then Joomla is probably best for you. So again, it, it really is a question of asking yourself what it is you're trying to do. And the nice thing is, is you can install all three and try them out uh, for free and, um, and, try and, and find out which one is best. If you do choose Joomla, we recommend that you come back to our site, wiserjoomla.com, and we'll help you learn step-by-step uh, really how to get the most out of your Joomla site.